Hey guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. Really excited to present the new light from Horticulture Lighting Group or HLG. It's called the Tomahawk. And this is really fascinating because HLG have been an innovator in the market. You know, they're a US based manufacturer. They've been um, designing and innovating their own style and format of LED grow lights for many years now, leading the way in the market in terms of efficiency of output, um, always choosing the highest efficacy LEDs and pushing the boundaries really in terms of what's possible in the grow lighting market. They, are, as I said, they're US based. They developed the original quantum board, which has become sort of a, a household name for a style of um, fixture, which had these, you know, rectangular or square LED boards. And um, it's quite unusual to see them come out with a new style, such as this. Although, as usual, they haven't gone the way that everybody else has gone. They've gone a slightly different route in terms of delivering really high efficacy of output, at really good prices, but with an innovative design. So let's take a closer look at what they've done. So the fixture arrives folded, uh, unfolds, and you just have to put a few screws in place to fix it in position flat like this. You've got five LED bars. We'll look at closer at those in a minute. And then you've got these cross beams um, supporting the structure. Overall, it's very lightweight, but sturdy. The driver mounts on the back here. There is an alternative option where you can um, get an additional cable and mount the driver remotely. And you've got the usual dimmer station which attaches onto the driver, which has the connections for daisy chaining and um, connecting to an external controller. The high efficiency Inventronics driver comes with it. Um, and as I said, you can mount it on the back or remotely. Where it gets really interesting is with the LED bars that they've chosen to use. But these are folded aluminium sheeting, uh, powder coated white, and they reflect the um, light emitted from the diodes and direct it down onto the grow, proving the overall efficiency of the fixture. And not only do they have them fold optimized in terms of the fold and the angle and the length of these uh, reflectors, they're even uh, asymmetrical. So they're not the same angle on each LED bar. And I know that they spent a lot of time optimizing this system, as I said, to get the maximum light down on a low hanging um, installation. So these are designed to come right close to the canopy, about 12 inches or 30 centimeters from the top of the canopy to the underside of the fixture. This fixture is packed full of LEDs. These um, LEDs run really cool with these elongated um, reflectors here, providing lots of cooling surface to uh, get the heat away from these LEDs really quickly. Lots of LEDs packed in there is uh, cool white LEDs along with 660 nanometer deep reds by Osram. And you can see from the spectrum port from the Sensitech Passport Spectra Radiometer that you've got big peaks of blue and big peaks of red. And this means you're going to have really tight, short, dense growth with that high proportion of blue, but also really high efficiency with that red output. Those Osram um, 660 nanometer reds output a really high amount of photons per watt. So this is a 720 watt fixture. So hung it in five by five foot area. It's 1.5 by 1.5 meters. It's minimum recommended hanging height of 12 inches or 30 centimeters from the underside of the light to the top of the sensor. Use the Apogee uh, EPAR sensor that measures from 400 up to 750 nanometers and includes the far red emitted by this fixture and took 100 uh, power measurements uh, in a grid um, simulating the plant canopy uh, in an area with reflective walls. The um, consumed watts for this fixture is 727 watts. The average power uh, delivered to the um, test area was 901 micromoles and the total power output divided by the watt consumed is the system efficiency and the result for this fixture is 2.79 uh, usable PPF per watt which is a really really good um, efficiency figure. 
especially considering the price. This fixture is, as I said, 720 watts, but selling for $899, which is a really good price in terms of dollar per watt um, for this um, efficiency of output. And considering it's a US made, um, and you got all that um, you know, local product support, technical support, and uh, security really in buying a fixture like this from uh, a company with such a good reputation as HLG. So yeah, outstanding product. Um, really innovative in terms of the design and um, there are further fixtures to come. I know they're going to bring out a slightly lower wattage veg version of this same fixture and looking forward to what other um, innovations HLG have for us in the future. Well, thanks very much for them for sending this light to me and uh, looking forward to hear your comments. I know there's a lot of people out there who support HLG and love their products. So looking forward to hear from you in terms of what you think of this fixture and uh, yeah. Take care.